But why did it buy die? Ah! Hey guys, this is Andre from Cryptomaton and as far as trading experiments go, this is probably my most eccentric one yet. I spent about a month building this cryptocurrency trading bot that looks at Reddit for sentiment analysis for cryptocurrencies. In essence, it's looking at different subreddits and looks for keywords that match certain coins. And if people talk about them in a positive way, it will just buy them. So knowing full well that this cannot possibly go tits up, I decided to spend about a month testing this strategy out. So now I'm going to share with you some of the results uh, as well as how this works in a bit more detail. I've since open source this script so you can actually find it down below on GitHub as well as a detailed guide if you want to try this and build it from scratch for yourself. Now let's jump into it. So my number one priority before starting to write any code was ensuring that I'm not going to shoot myself in the leg or commit financial suicide. Um, I was pretty terrified at the beginning that the bot would just go nuts all over the place and start placing trades according to what Crypto Moonshots does. Now if you know anything about this subreddit Crypto Moonshots, you know this is the place where people go to lose money. If you have any money and you want to make sure that you invest in cryptocurrencies in order to have less money than you started with, that's where you go, that's your, that's your go-to place. So in order to avoid our bot to go to such places, I decided to give it a strict set of parameters and to only look at cryptocurrency and world news and to scan for cryptocurrency keywords over there. Now with that out of the way, there was the question of how we're going to make sure that only the most appropriate posts are being picked for this. Because even within a subreddit like cryptocurrency, we still have shills, we still have people who are going to post content which really does not benefit anyone but themselves. So in order to avoid that, I decided to tell the bot to only focus on the top 10 posts under HOT and to only look and scan the title and the description of the post. Again, comments are not being taken into account for the same reason. And that reason is there's a lot of bots, a lot of shields, so we don't want to accidentally shoot ourselves in the foot with the tool that we create. So now that we have a defined set of parameters for the bot, it's time to actually move on, write some code, see the results and get cracking with this. Okay, so now it's time to take the configuration that we discussed on paper and put it in a file where our trading bot can use it to make trades and look at cryptocurrencies with positive sentiment. So in a config.yaml file, you will see a few configurable options. We have subreddits, which is where I define the subreddits to look at basically. So we have cryptocurrency, crypto underscore currency, cryptocurrencies and world news. Number of posts is how many posts to look at in descending order on each of those subreddits and sort by is how to sort them by, which right now is hot. So these two combined means that it will take the 10 posts in hot and it will only take these into consideration. Uh, trade options refers to how the bot will be placing the trades on our exchange, in which this case is Binance. So for example, it will place trades with a quantity of 15 and a pairing of USDT, which means that for every coin with a positive sentiment on Reddit, it will place a trade with 15 USDT. It will run every 10 minutes and if you set test mode to true, this will just store the trades in a local file without actually placing the request to Binance. If you set this to false, it will actually use your live Binance funds. So this is one of the two things that need to be configured before we run the bot. The second one is the keywords.yaml file. So here you have absolute control over which coins you want the bot to look at. So for example, you have again in the YAML format BTC and under BTC you put the keywords that you want it to look at. So here is where I put Bitcoin, BTC, low case BTC, up case Bitcoin and just normal case Bitcoin. Again, this means that these are the only coins that will ever be taken into account. If you wanted to look at, for example, top 40 coins by market cap, you actually need the symbol and then keywords for each of those coins, which my experiment is exactly why I stopped at 40 because I had to add them all manually. So with those two files configured, I just want to show you how the Reddit posts are being stored locally. So here you can see um, the ID of the post, you can see the title, 
the subreddit and the body. And this is all that's needed for the bot to analyze each post and then compound the sentiment. Okay, so I'm actually going to run the bot and see what happens. Okay, let's have a look. So it detected new posts. It found matching keywords for Ethereum, ADA and Bitcoin. And it placed test orders with 15, uh, the equivalent of 15 USDT on Ethereum, on ADA and on Bitcoin. And now it will wait 10 minutes, compare new posts to the existing ones. If they match, then it won't do anything because it means they're the same post. We don't want to buy twice based on the same sentiment. But if new posts are being found, then it will check them again and possibly place new orders. So that's how it works. Cool, so let's have a look at the results with that in mind. Over the period of four weeks, it accumulated over 20 coins. And this is where it gets really interesting. If you have a look at the quality of the coins, you will see that most of them are actually pretty good projects. At least in my opinion, you have Bitcoin, you have Ethereum, Algo, Lumen, Solana, and so on. I admit Dogecoin is there, which is a bit of a shame. I'm not a big fan of Dogecoin. I know some other people are okay with it. But apart from that, most of the projects are really solid, which speaks to actually how well this bot really picks up the coins based, based on sentiment. Um, right now we are on 13% profit. To be honest, you would have probably made more had you just been holding Bitcoin during that period. But this is pretty fun and it's a statement that if anything, it's a pretty decent diversification strategy that works. The Reddit hive mind works. But then there's a big caveat here. It does work during a bull market. Then again, everything really works during a bull market. I am not confident that this will work during a bear market. So if you do end up testing this, the tool does have a test mode so you can test without actually putting any money down. If you do decide to take it onto live mode, please be advised that this has not been tested for a very long period of time. And it's ultimately your risk. One thing I forgot to mention regarding the buying criteria for the bot was that we only take into account the top 40 coins by market cap. We're not interested in anything else for the same reason why we're not interested in crypto moonshots. We don't want to potentially buy something that will end us biting us in the ass later on. Another criteria is that it shouldn't technically buy any stable coins. Now I have absolutely no clue how Dai got in there. It was me. <laughs> I was the error. It was a human error and that's why Dai was there. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more about this project or try it yourself, the link is in the description down below. I'll see you next time. Meep mop. I'm a robot. I'm an automaton that likes cryptocurrencies. I'm a cryptomaton. Meep mop.